If you thought that ranking every single board in Mario Party history was enough, now I'm rating every single track on their possibilities of being in the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass. I'm not even kidding. I brought this book together, it fell apart, but it was one book. I brought it to school, and I was doing it at lunch, and I'm doing it at recess. It took me like a month, maybe, maybe even two months. I think I started it in March, and ended around like um, maybe Wednesday, Tuesday last week. So yeah, it took me quite a long time. So these are not including the tour tracks. Let's begin. Donut Plains 1 was in Mario Kart, Super, Super Mario Kart, Mario Kart Super Circuit, and Mario Kart DS. I think this track only has a 2 out of 10 chance of being in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe because Donut Plains 3 is already in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Mario Circuit 1 was in Mario Super Mario Kart, Mario Kart Super Circuit, and Mario Kart DS. I think this track has a 4 out of 10 in probability because it's been data mined, but it's not that good of an amazing track. I know that makes no sense. Ghost Valley 1 was in Super Mario Kart and Mario Kart Super Circuit. I think this has a 5 out of 10 chance because there are no retro ghost tracks in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but it's a boring, bland ghost track. Bowser Castle 1 was in Super Mario Kart and Mario Kart Super Circuit. I think it has a 7 out of 10 chance because there are no retro Bowser's castle in this game, but it's a boring castle. Mario Circuit 2 is in Super Mario Kart, Mario Kart Super Circuit, and Mario Kart 7. I think it has an 8 out of 10 chances because it has been data mined and there's a clear opportunity for glider and anti-gravity slots. Choco Island 1 is in Super Mario Kart and Mario Kart Super Circuit. It has a 2 out of 10 in chances in my opinion because Choco Choco Mountain is already in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Donut Plains 2 is in Super Mario Kart and Mario Kart Super Circuit. I think it has only a 1 out of 10 chance because Donut Plains 3 is already in the game and it's just a boring Meadows track. Ghost Valley 2 is in Super Mario Kart and Mario Kart Super Circuit. And Mario Kart Wii. I think it has a 6 out of 10 chance because there are no retro ghost tracks in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I just think it's a boring ghost track. That's all. Boring ghost track. Bowser Castle 2 is in Super Mario Kart and Mario Kart Super Circuit. I think it has a 4 out of 10 chance with because, because it's an annoying retro track. I'm not even kidding. I put an I put an explanation mark. See, I put an explanation mark. I don't know why I did that. Mario Circuit Three is in Super Mario Kart, Mario Kart Super Circuit, and Mario Kart Wii. It has a three out of ten chance for Mario Circuit Three because it's been data mined, but it isn't an interesting track at all. Choco Island Two is in Super Mario Kart, Mario Kart Super Circuit, and Mario Kart DS. I think it has a 4 out of 10 chance because the Chuka Chuka Mountain's already in the game. It's as simple as that. Vanilla Lake 1 is in Super Mario Kart and Mario Kart Super Circuit. I think it has a 6 out of 10 chance because there's no Vanilla Lake was ever recreated. It was found on Coconut Mall as an ad. It is better than Vanilla Lake 2, however. Koopa Beach 1. It, ha it has a 3 out of 10 chance being in Super Mario Kart and Mario Kart Super Circuit because I just think it's a boring beach track. Bowser Castle 3 is in Super Mario Kart and Mario Kart Super Circuit. I think it has a 7 out of 10 for chance because it's a better retro Bowser Castle, let me tell you that. Mario Circuit 4 is in Super Mario Kart and Mario Kart Super Circuit. It has a 3 out of 10 for chance because no one ever thought about what oh not even thought about 
been data mined. Ghost Valley 3 is in Super Mario Kart and Mario Kart Super Circuit. I think it has a 6 out of 10 for chances because it's the best, the best Ghost Valley track. Koopa Beach 2 is in Super Mario Kart and Mario Kart Super Circuit and Mario Kart DS. I think it has a 6 out of 10 chance because it's a boring track. Vanilla Lake 2 is in Super Mario Kart and Mario Kart Super Circuit. It's a 3 out of 10 for chance. It's found on Coconut Mall as an ad. And it's been data mined, but it's just on the boring side. It's also really annoying when you play this track. Luigi Raceway is in Mario Kart 64 and Mario Kart 7. It has a 6 out of 10 for chances because it's in 3D. But boring, and it could have been in the Egg Cup if it really... Because that's like the least difficulty cup that it could have been in because it was already remade in 7, which means it couldn't have been in the Shell Cup. You know what I'm saying, right? Moo Moo Farm is in Mario Kart 64 and Mario Kart DS. I think it has a 2 out of 10 chance because it is somewhat interesting, but loads of probabilities taken off with Moo Moo Meadows still in the game from the Shell Cup. Koopa Troopa Beach has a 6 out of 10 for chances being found in Mario Kart 64 and 7. I think it has a nice music, but there is an in, an abundance of beach tracks in the game. It's also in tour, which definitely could boost its probability, and maybe it could come around for a, like a summer wave, maybe next wave. Calamari Desert is in Mario Kart 64 and Mario Kart 7. The chances here are 8 out of 10, because it's somewhat difficult but only one Retro Desert tracks in the game. Lovely and fan-loved entry, and it's in tour. Frappe Snowland is in Mario Kart 64 and Mario Kart DS. I think it's a 7 out of 10 for chances, because it's interesting, but of an abundance of water and ice tracks, definitely won't put this game under too much happiness. Mario Raceway is in Mario Kart 64 and Mario Kart Wii. Has a 4 to 10 for chances because there's an abundance of circuit tracks and this is a boring one of those circuit tracks. Mario Stadium is only in Mario Kart 64. It's the only Mario Kart 64 track that's only in Mario Kart 64. It's a 7 out of 10 for chances because the game music is in already the game. The section could be underwater, anti-gravity, glider, Glider written all over it. Sherbet Land is in Mario Kart 64 and Mario Kart Wii. 4 to 10 for chances because it's trash and an abundance of water slash ice tracks. Bowser Castle. It's in Mario Kart 64 and Mario Kart Wii. 7 to 10 for chances. But there's no retro Bowser Castle. Interesting Bowser Castle though. DK's Jungle Parkway is in Mario Kart 64 and Mario Kart Wii. 8 out of 10 for chances and just a boring jungle, but there is some glider, anti-gravity slots written all over it. Banshee Boardwalk! That's actually what I put. It's in Mario Kart 64 and Mario Kart DS. 8 out of 10 for chances and it's interesting, but a lack of retro ghost traps. Peach Circuit. Right? Yeah. Peach, Peach Circuit. Games, Mario Kart Super Circuit, and Mario Kart DS. I think it has a 1 out of 10 chance because it's just a boring beginner circuit. Shy Guy Beach. It's in Mario Kart Super Circuit. It's in Mario Kart Wii. There's a 4 out of 10 chance because it's just, a, it's just boring. And there's an abundance of beast tracks already. Riverside Parkway. Is in Mario Kart Super Circuit only. I think it has a 6 out of 10 chance. Because it's an interesting jungle track, and it's from Super Circuits. Bowser Castle 1 is in Mario Kart Super Circuit and Mario Kart 7. It has a 4 to 10 chances because, um, it's retro Bowser's Castle. Boo Lake is in Mario Kart Super Circuit and has a 5 out of 10 chance. Boring, but also interesting. Bowser Castle 2. It's in Mario Kart Super Circuit. It's in Mario Kart DS. I think it has a 7 out of 10 chances. Because it's already in tour. And there's anti-gravity slash 
tricks galore. Luigi Circuit. Is it Mario Kart Super Circuit and Mario Kart DS? Six out of ten for chances, in my opinion. And I don't even I didn't even write a reason. I I just didn't write a reason. Jeep Jeep Island is in Mario Kart Super Circuit and Tour. But I think it has a four to ten chances because there's already Jeep Jeep Beach in the game. Sunset Wild is in Mario Kart Super Circuit with 8 out of 10 for chances because it's in Tour, Data Mind, and it's interesting. Oh, I thought there was something else. Snowland is in Mario Kart Super Circuit. 4 out of 10 chance because boring. Yoshi Desert has. Is that a 4 or a 9? I would like to say that's a 9, but probably a 4. It's in Mario Kart Super Circuit. It's interesting, but there's a lack of Super Circuit tracks. Bowser Castle 3 is in Mario Kart Super Circuit and Mario Kart Wii. 6 out of 10 for chances because Retro Bowser Castle, and it's annoying one at that. Lakeside Park is from Mario Kart Super Circuit. 4 out of 10 for chances because it's boring. Broken Pierre is in Mario Kart Super Circuit with a 2 out of 10 for chances. Boring, and it's not a tour. Which definitely takes some points off. Bowser Castle 4 is in Mario Kart Super Circuit with a 6 out of 10 tracks. Because it's a retro Bowser Castle track. Who uh, Nintendo forgot about? Yeah. Rainbow Road is in Mario Kart Super Circuit with a 2 out of 10 for chance. Because Bad Rainbow Road, Better Rainbow Road, have been data mined. Luigi Circuits in Mario Kart Double Dash and Mario Kart DS with a 5 out of 10 for chances. The reason? Gimmicks is already in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And it's just an opener track, although it definitely can be pushed back because it is kind of difficult. I don't know why Peach Beach wasn't the opener track. Maybe because they just needed a circuit track. Because a circuit track opens every single game except for Mario Kart 8. Peach Beach is in Mario Kart Double Dash and Mario Kart Wii with a 4 out of 10 for chances. It's just a boring, bad track. And you know it's bad when I forget the tune to it. Normally, I, I know all of the tunes. I know the tunes to most Mario Kart tracks. I'd say maybe a few in Super Circuit. Uh, Maybe like one or two in DS. Maybe a couple in Wii. And a couple in A. I don't know. Mushroom Bridge. Mario Kart Double Dash and Mario Kart DS. 6 out of 10 for chances. It's interesting and they had a bunch for tour, but unsure if they will put uh, Mushroom City in tour though because they've both been data mined. <coughs> Mario Kart DS is in Mario Kart Double Dash and Wii. 4 out of 10 for chances because there's a lack of Mario Circuit tracks, but it's boring. Always boring. Daisy Cruisers in Mario Kart Double Dash and Mario Kart 7. Interesting. Data mine for tour, but lack of GameCube tracks, and there's not even one at least in the DLC. Surprising, right? Waluigi Stadium is has more. Waluigi Stadium is in Mario Kart Double Dash and Mario Kart Wii with a four to ten for chances because it's data mined, boring, and lack of GameCube tracks. That definitely takes a lot of credibility off. Mushroom City. Is in Mario Kart Double Dash with a 6 out of 10 for chances. Data mine for Tour. Unsure if they're going to put Mushroom Bridge in. But. Hmm. I think it starts with the lack and ends with. Yeah, lack of GCN tracks. I put that for three things in a row. DK Mountain is, has, is, in, is in Mario Kart Double Dash and Mario Kart Wii. 7 out of 10 for chances because it's interesting. But showing no signs of return even in Tour. I don't know how these, how they would put it in tour. What would they call it? Like the mountain tour? The DK tour? I don't know. Wario Coliseum is in Mario Kart Double Dash with a 3 out of 10 for chances. Because tool, too, uh, too long for tour. Lack of GCN tracks. I put lack of GCN tracks. Again! Down the Jungle is in Mario Kart Double Dash and Mario Kart 7 with a 6 out of 10 for chances because it's in tour. But there's a lack of 
Yoshi tracks. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I got you. Come on. I got you. Bowser's Castle is in Mario Kart Double Dash. 4 to 10 for chances because it's a boring retro Bowser's Castle. Rainbow Road is in Mario Kart Double Dash with a 3 out of 10 for chances because it's a Rainbow Road and it's not in Tor. Figure 8 circuits in Mario Kart DS. 2 out of 10. Boring. It's the 8 game. Yoshi Falls. Mario Kart DS and Mario Kart Wii. 4 out of 10 for chances. Better than Figure 8 Circuit. Still sucks. Luigi's Mansion is in Mario Kart DS and Mario Kart 7. 7 out of 10 for chances. Good track. In tour, Mushroom Cup track. And the music's already in the game. Oh my god. Oh my god. Those are your hills in Mario Kart DS and Mario Kart Wii with a 3 out of 10 for chances. Boring. Lack of desert tracks. Del Final Square is in Mario Kart DS and Mario Kart Wii with a 5 out of 10 for chances. Interesting, but for some reason, it's not in tour. Waluigi Pinball is in Mario Kart DS and Mario Kart 7. 8 out of 10 for chances. Reason? Music is in the game, i.e. Wario Stadium. In tour, fan favorite. I think it's a bit overrated, though. I just, I just think it's a bit overrated. DK Pass, Mario Kart DS, and Mario Kart 7. 6 out of 10 for chances. In tour, lack of snow tracks. Mario Circuits in Mario Kart DS with a 3 out of 10 for chances. Just a boring track. I actually would have wrote down. I think it's in contention for one of the worst Mario Circuits ever. Maybe that's a bit too harsh. I don't know. Airship Fortress is in Mario Kart DS and Mario Kart 7. 4 out of 10 for chances. In tour, interesting. But just terrible colors, in my opinion, in tour. Peach Gardens has Mario Kart DS and Mario Kart Wii occupying the track. 3 out of 10 for chances. Boring. Not in tour. We're reaching, almost reaching the end of this one. Bowser Castle is in Mario Kart DS. And uh, the chances are 6 out of 10. Interesting. Not in tour. But the best Bowser Castle. Not Bowser's Castle. Bowser Castle. Rainbow Roads in Mario Kart DS with a 3 out of 10 for chances. Boring and a Rainbow Road Track. You know how much we're going to see those in this. Luigi Circuit in Mario Kart Wii. 2 out, of 10 for, 2 out of 10 for chances. Boring and a beginner track. Mushroom Gorge. Mario Kart Wii and Mario Kart 7. 7 out of 10. Has a gimmick. It's interesting. And it's in tour. Yeah, it took like a huge gap from Rainbow Road to like Airship Forge, which was like a month and a, two weeks or something. Toad Factory in Mario Kart Wii. 5 out of 10 for chances. Interesting. Nintendo drying? Uh, Nintendo trying to forget about it. Not in tour. Mario Circuits in Mario Kart Wii with a 3 out of 10 for chances. Boring. Just a circuit track. DK Summit or DK Snowboard Cross is in Mario Kart Wii with a 7 out of 10 for chances. Maybe for like a Christmas uh, snowy wave and it's in tour. Daisy Circuits in Mario Kart Wii, 2 out of 10 for chances. Boring. Just a circuit track. Koopa Capes in Mario Kart Wii and 7, 8 out of 10 for chances. Data Mind. Maple Tree was in Mario Kart Wii and 7, 6 out of 10 for chances. It's in tour, but terrible colors on the mobile app. Dry Dry Ruins is in Mario Kart Wii, has a 3 out of 10 chances. Not on tour, but a desert track. Moonview Highways in Mario Kart Wii, 4 out of 10 for chances. Annoying, a highway track is already in DLC. The highway track is already in DLC. Bowser's Castle is in Mario Kart Wii with a 6 out of 10 for chances. Retro Bowser Castle, not in tour. Interesting. Rainbow Road's in Mario Kart Wii. 7 out of 10 for chances. It's a Rainbow Road, and I think it was Data Mind with Mario Kart 7s. I don't know. 
Speak of the Devil, Daisy Hills in Mario Kart 7. 4 to 10 for chances. Boring in Tor. Cheap Cheap Lagoon or Cheap Cheap Cape is in Mario Kart 7 with a 6 out of 10 for chances. Abundance of water tracks. And it's in Tor. We move on to. I went from Cheap Cheap Lagoon to freaking Woohoo Loop. I'll just add in Shy Guy Bazaar. Shy Guy Bazaar in Mario Kart 7. 6 out of 10 chance. Interesting. It's Incendor. Woohoo Loop or Woohoo Island Loop is in Mario Kart 7 with a 5 out of 10 for chances. Lack of one lap tracks, because there's actually only three, I think. Right? No, I think there's just one. I think it's just Mount Wario. N64. No. And Big Blue. Yeah, three. And it's data mine for tour. Mario Circuit said Mario Kart 7 with a 7 out of 10 for chances. Interesting circuit track. It's in tour. I I need to make a video. The Mario Kart 7 track's not a tour. I swear to God, there's like only five. I actually counted. There's only five. Maybe there's more and I miscounted because I was at the Barbers. Rock Rock Mountain is in Mario Kart 7 with a 6 out of 10 chance. Reason. Interesting. Data Mind. It's in tour. Was it Data Mind? I don't know why I put down Data Mind. I think, don't think it was Data Mind. Wario Shipyard's in Mario Kart 7. 8 out of 10 for chances because it's interesting and is in tour. Maka Woohoo. Oh, I should probably do the translations here. Rock Rock Mountain, Alpine Pass. Wario Shipyard, Wario's Galleon. Maka Woohoo is. in Pal. I don't know. Last track in the Star Cup. Mario Kart 7. Chances 6 out of 10. Reason? Interesting. Lack of one lap tracks. Data mine for tour. Rosalina's Ice World is in Mario Kart 7 with a 4 to 10 for chances. Boring. But it's always in tour. I, it's always in tour. Bowser's Castle is in Mario Kart 7 with a 3 out of 10 for chances. Because it's a retro Bowser Castle. But guess what? There's two words. One starts with an I. And the other starts with a T. I think it's, um, in tour. Okay. Rainbow Road. Mario Kart 7. 9 out of 10. Interesting. It's in tour. It's data mined. Just kidding. This is just all speculation. But wasn't this just a fun ride? I think I'm actually the. F I don't know if I'm the first person, but I I came up this, with this myself. But I don't know if I'm the first person. I could be like the fifth or sixth, but I came up with my I came with this idea up by myself in March. So I might be the first person. But thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and click. I think it's a red button. It says. Subscribe, yeah. To red says subscribe, and who knows if you click it and you leave it stay until you until you die. Let's see what happens. Okay, peace out. Have a wonderful day or night.